Woodbury School. November is a busy month here at PWS with Thanksgiving right around the corner. We have so much to be thankful for. Yes, one thing we should be thankful for is our new teachers joining the PWS family. Did you know there is a new teacher at K Plus here at PWS? Maya and I interviewed Mrs. Redfern about her job as a K Plus teacher. Here they are. Hi, this is Jen, and today I'm interviewing Mrs. Redfern. Mrs. Redfern, what are some things you do in K Plus? In K Plus, um, we start the day with circle time, and we do the calendar. We teach the kids the days of the week. Uh, we also do um, snack time, or quiet time, and then we have a project of the day that we do. And what is your favorite part of being a K Plus teacher? Uh, favorite part is working with the kids. I love that age, the five and six year olds, and learning routines, and it's just it's just a fun age group to work with them. Cool. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maya and I'm interviewing Mrs. Redfern. Mrs. Redfern, why do you choose to be a K plus teacher? Well, I chose to be a K plus teacher because again I really love that age group, the five and six year olds. And it's it's a good learning age and I can, you know, teach them different um, routines. I think I said that before, but just getting them into the routine of, of a school day and what it's like. It's fun. Is K plus the same as um, kindergarten? We're a little bit different. We um, talk to Mrs. West and, Ms. and Mrs. O, and we base our program kind of on what they're doing. Uh, we do a lot of crafts, um, projects, and we work side by side with them, but we are a little bit different. We're kind of more of to learn as we play kind of uh, routine in the classroom. Nice. Yeah, that's really fun. Bye. Bye. Another thing that is keeping us busy this month is parent-teacher conferences. Most fourth grade students are doing student-led conferences instead. What, is, what are those? Let's listen into Mrs. Lambo and Abby to learn more. Hi, I'm Lonnie here with Mrs. Lambo. Mrs. Lambo, what are student-led conferences? Student-led conferences are conferences that the students actually lead. They show their work to their parents and they spend time practicing and then showing their parents what they're working on and what their strengths are and what their weaknesses are. Cool. What materials do they use? For student-led conferences, they're dif different for all kids. So. Some students want to show their parents more of what their, what their goals are, what they're working on. So they have different materials based on whatever they're working on and what they want to show their parents. Thank you. here today with Abby. Abby, do you, did you like participating in student-led conferences? Yes. Why? Because I get to show my parents all of my work and it's really fun to see my grades before my parents do and I get to talk to them about how I really feel about the school that I'm doing, the school work that I'm doing. Nice. Do you, would you recommend student-led conferences for other classes? Yes. Thank you. Student-led conferences sound challenging. You mean like cooking? Yes. Here at our Cook's Corner segment, Mrs. Wyan and Mrs. Career are showing us some of their favorite Thanksgiving recipes that they cook with their families. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lena, and this is Mrs. Wyan. Mrs. Wyan, how do you make the applesauce? 
Um, well, I really like in the fall to go apple picking with my family, and then we bring the apples home. We um, don't peel the apples. We actually just cut them in quarters. Uh, we take out the seeds and the core, uh, but we keep the skins on. We put it in a pot, and all we do is add just a teensy bit of water, and then uh, we just let it cook down. It boils all down, and it's just kind of like an applesauce gushy mush, and then we just let it sit overnight. Once we let it sit overnight, all the pink skins from the applesauce turn the applesauce pink. So our applesauce is pink applesauce. Um, then um, we just put it into a machine. Um, it's like a little KitchenAid mixer. You yeah. put it in and you squish it down and out comes the applesauce. And then out comes the, um, the skins over on the sides. That sounds really fun. What's your favorite step in making the applesauce? Um, I think my favorite step is when we get to put the applesauce or the apple mush yeah. into the KitchenAid mixer and then my girls squish it down and it's fun to watch them squishing it down and getting excited about eating it. That would be fun too. Bye. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm back with Mrs. Wyand. What's a Thanksgiving tradition that you share with your family? One of the things that we like to do is to go around the table um, during our Thanksgiving dinner or right before or right after at some point and just to say what we're thankful for. Um, sometimes we'll write it down or sometimes we'll just say it out loud, um, but we, we definitely like to say what we're thankful for every year. Nice. Do you like this? Do you do this with your children and do they like it? We do. Sometimes, like I said, we'll write it down and they will write it on a leaf or sometimes they'll even put it out as like a place card on someone's plate. Mm. Nice. Bye. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I am going to show you one of my favorite Thanksgiving dishes that my family made growing up and it is Johnny Cake. I have combined all the ingredients into my mixing bowl right here. And I'm going to get ready to put it through the mixer. Now it's ready to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. And this is how my family eats their Johnny cake with butter spread on it and maple syrup sprinkled on top. Mm -mm. After listening to those two, I am so hungry. Really? I'm stuffed. That, remind, that reminds me of a riddle. What does a teddy bear and a turkey have in common? Let's see what Mrs. Sapler and Leland think. I'm Luke and this is Leland. Leela, what do turkeys have in common with teddy bears? Oh, claws. Thank you. The answer is stuffing! Hi, I'm Jocelyn and I'm here with Mrs. Shapley. Mrs. Shapley, what sound does a turkey's phone make? What sound does a turkey's phone make? Gobble, gobble, gobble? Thank you. <laughs> the answer is wing, wing! <laughs> Well, that's it for our show this month. Don't forget to spend your break thinking about all there is to be thankful for. I'm thankful for my family. And I'm thankful for a safe environment. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving with your family. See you in December.